Hey Siri, keep me on task. What are you working on today? Being lazy. How many minutes do you want to work on it? 120. That's a long time. You are lazy as heck. Are you sure you want to be that lazy? Okay. Started a timer for 120 minutes and turned on Do Not Disturb until 3.29 a.m. You go on being lazy, Apple Ninja. Have an awesome day and thank you for all the tips. Sounds good, buddy. Okay. So now that you saw that shortcut in action, let's take a peek at it and show you what we got. So I went to the gallery. There's a ton of gallery items that you can choose. Um, a lot of these do not work. I tried quite a few of them and I'm like, what the heck? But there are a ton. Uh, a lot of them I think are from iPhone and just brought over iPad. But I went to this great with Siri. And I started playing with some of these. I actually tried setting up this play on HomePod. Let me just show you. So I said, okay, I'm going to choose my Mac. And I'm going to send it to my living room. Add the shortcut. It adds it up here. I click play. The action handoff playback is not supported on Mac. Well, that sucks. So it shows that not everything is going to actually work on your Mac when you create these shortcuts, all right? So this keep me on task, this was pretty slick. It actually did work quite well and I modified it a lot. I came in here, I started modifying some of the text and different options. So I added in my own stuff and made this my own shortcut. So I could have modified a bunch of different things with this, but what's cool with this is it actually added that being lazy to the notes. So it always will update this my task whenever I run that shortcut. Another cool thing, if I want to change the color of this, I can just come up here, change it to orange. Maybe I want it to be a horse. And now that is added as a horse and it's orange. What if I want it up in the menu bar up here? I can click on these little icons over here. Just select that. I can even add it to the services menu, but I'd prefer to just keep it in the menu bar. Um, let's bring over an automator action that we create. So let's open up automator, command space bar, automator. Start typing it, hit return. We're going to create a new automator action. We'll just do a workflow, Let's say choose, come over here. I want to create a new encrypted disk image. So I'm going to click on files and folders, uh, new disk image. So I'm going to double click this. I want it to be called backup. I'm going to make this thing 500 megs. I'm going to encrypt it and I'm going to name this backup as well. This is the file name on the desktop. This is the volume name when the disk image is actually mounted. Um, so then I'm just going to click OK. And I want to actually save this. I can save it as an application where I can double click it. Because Automator Actions, you can create an application or a workflow. So when I bring it into the Shortcuts app, I can use either one of these. So I'm actually just going to create an application, save it on my desktop called Backup. And we will quit out of Automator. And you're going to see this backup here, right here. All I have to do is literally just drag it in here. Boom. Now it's in there. Double click on it. It's now a shortcut that I can come in here, add up here, keep in menu bar, get rid of this automator action altogether. And now I've brought in my automator action. I can create an encrypted disk image on my desktop by running that. Let's see if it actually works. still running I don't know what it's come on now I 
it's running. I don't know if this thing is going to work or not. Let's pull that up, that guy out of the trash and see. Okay, I stopped it. I'm going to double click this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So even though I'm just doing, don't save it into my keychain, and now I've created a, it's a password to access backup. One, two, three, four. Now I've created a backup, but the shortcut didn't work. So what the heck? So you might be able to bring your automator actions over to shortcuts, but I don't know how well they're gonna work at this point in time. Um, you're gonna probably have to play with it, see what you have to do to get it to work. Um, this kind of sucks that it didn't work and um, but obviously I'm only on beta 1 right I'm on the first rev of this release of Mac OS Monterey it's a new uh, setup shortcuts is going to be the way of the future right so this is the way we're going to be automating all this different stuff so i'm sure they're going to make a lot of enhancements they're going to get all these gallery items to work and uh hopefully we're able to modify a bunch of this stuff i mean there is so many things that they have in here it's just awesome all right so let's make our own shortcut so we're going to click on all shortcuts you're going to see that i created this apple ninja main list I can go new folder if I want another new folder down here and I want to create a different list. Um, but what I can do is I can hit this plus right here for a new shortcut. And then come in here and let's say I want to do scripting, um, oh split screen apps. I want to create one that opens up two apps. Okay, I'm going to do activity monitor and maybe I want to do like console, maybe I'm troubleshooting this Mac or something. Let's see if this thing actually works. Why do I feel like this? There's no way in heck this is going to work. Split screen troubleshooting. Okay. Uh, leave it as is. Put it up in our menu bar. Keep it in the menu bar. So now let's just see it. Oh, I got to hit return here. Boom. So now we should see it updated split screen troubleshooting let's see how this bad boy works what look like it tried to do something it opened both the apps but it sure sure did not uh, split screen it at all so I'd have to say you know shortcuts is a little bit buggy at this point um, I'm excited to see what people are interested in what actually does work so if you have one that works or doesn't work leave me a comment down below and just say hey man this one sucks it doesn't work check out these other mac os monterey uh, videos that i did and uh, i will see you in the next video take care